so I've done two videos already. Neither of them really came out like I, I was hoping they would come out, you know? Um, one of them, I was just talking shit. The second thing, the second one, I started explaining myself like I needed to explain myself and I'm not going to explain myself, you know, um, moving forward. I'm not talking about the past. We don't talk about the past here. We don't talk about the future because we don't know what happens. We're talking about today and winning today. But when a person that is in your family or as an acquaintance, not just a troll, someone that knows details. They were talking some shit that I never even talked about on YouTube. So they obviously knew what happened and they're trying to say it didn't happen. But I didn't even talk about it. So what does it matter? And um, actually, I'm not, I'm not even mad at this person anymore. I feel bad for him. I seriously do. It's actually, uh, it's actually pretty sad, man. When you gotta go on to, uh, another person's, uh, YouTube channel and just try to, you know, make them look bad. I ain't never said nothing. I, I, I'm the first to tell you I was, I'm a piece of shit. You know what I mean? I was a horrible husband. Wasn't that great a dad. You know? I was a good, good provider. I've provided. You know? But I've let, uh, I let drugs get in the way of my family. I let vanity get in the way. You know, there's a lot of fucking people that I hurt and uh, they deserve to be upset with me and that's fine. But if you're upset with me, come, come speak to me upset and, and tell me, you know, if you're a dude and you got a problem with me, you don't want to talk about it. You want to take it to the street, handle it like boys. You could do that. If you're a chick, you don't want to talk about it, then just, you know, keep it pushing. Because, uh, honestly, I've made peace with all my wrongdoings. And I was going to come on this shit and talk shit and, you know, fuck you and fuck this and let's go. and But it's not me anymore, man. It's just not me, you know. I realize I have a, a a bunch of people that, you know, not necessarily look up to me, but, you know, they come on here and they're hoping I have the, um, you know, right things to say. And if I turn and just start, start talking shit again, it just makes me a hypocrite, man. And, and, and I'm not. I am changing my life. You know, slowly but surely, I'm changing my life. And, you know, the people that are coming on here, you know, whether they're trolls, whether they're family, whether they're whatever, they got, they got their own issues, you know what I mean? And that's not on me. It's just not on me. You know, if someone don't like me, don't like me. Why are you watching all my shit? You know? Why well, you got something to say about everything I do? You know? I never I never asked anybody to be in my life. You know? I'm I'm perfectly fine alone. I've been alone for a long time and it's not that bad, man. Don't get me wrong, you know. I like communicating with people. Like helping people, trying to pay off that karmic debt, you know? But 
Some people are just fucking idiots, man, you know? Oh, his eyes were fucking this, and so he's on this, and it's like, he's sober, but he's not. Man, stop dry snitching, man. If you see, if you see somebody, you think he's on drugs? Who gives a fuck? Why is that your business, man? It's so annoying. I would never accuse somebody of no shit like that. I don't know if their parole officer is watching. I don't know if their mom's watching. You know? They could be telling their old lady that they're fucking straight and and they're straight up drug addicts. You know, they might be living that double life. And I've lived that double life, you know? It's not fun. It's not fun at all. You know? The hiding things, the lying. And so I don't know how come someone can come on here and badmouth me, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> there's nothing you could say about me, bad, that will even come close to the things I say about myself in my head. So it's kind of pointless, you know. I'm gonna um, I'm starting to start doing something different now, and instead of uh, um playing with these people I'm just ignoring man I'm not gonna I'm not gonna respond to negative comments I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into it cause you know I, I don't mess with bitches and punks you know they're not in my life for a reason so I was fired up on that last video man and I did a couple more, and uh, I was talking to one of my homeboys, and he made a lot of fucking sense, you know, thanks Wano, seriously, you made me think, man, and uh, if I would have just started, if I would have just tuned that other video, I would have been embarrassed, I would have been fucking, you know what, you just took two steps back in your fucking, in your journey, and For what? Someone's lying on me? Everybody probably gets lied on, you know? It's just the nature of the beast, you know? People get jealous. I don't know why you're jealous of me. I got my little fucking... I got my little cool-ass audience, you know? I'm cool like this. I don't need no more fucking subs. I, if they come, cool. If they're the same like-minded people like we are, then cool. But the dudes on here, the ladies on work. Man, I wouldn't trade these subs. I, like I said, no, not subs. I'm, I'm sorry I said subs. My people, I wouldn't trade my people for fucking 50,000 people. You know? It's not about that. It's about, seriously, you know, it's about helping people. It's about giving back, you know? And I'm trying my hardest to fucking get back, but... You know... Life ain't easy, man. Took a couple of L's today, you know? I was on a good run. It's one in the clock, clock in the morning, probably one thirty, sitting here, you know, smoking scante, tweaking my balls off, or whatever the fuck I'm doing. People don't understand when you do drugs for thirty years and steroids and all this stuff, and you're not a, um, your brain ain't normal anymore, you know. So what, uh? What you think is tweaking balls could be just somebody having some serious mani mania ap episodes, you know? I was diagnosed with mania. I was diagnosed with ADHD. Um, I got OCD. Said I'm bipolar. They said I'm schizophrenic, you know? And uh, I don't take medicine. I'm not no J-cat. So, you know, 
it could be that. Or it could be the cocaine I sniff. I don't know. It could be the Adderall I pop. I don't know. You know, maybe it's the Xanax. Who knows, man? All I know is my body don't need drugs. You know what I mean? If I do it, I do it. But I'm not chemically uh, or I'm not physically addicted to any substance. You know, I could wake up and not do nothing, and I do. I usually don't fuck around with nothing until the afternoon. If I do anything, you know, smoke some weed, maybe, throw down a Xanax, maybe. If I got shit to do, throw down an Adderall. But I don't do drugs every day. Do I do them? Sometimes. I'm not going to lie, you know. People can come on here in front and say this and that, you know, but tell me you've been sober for five years, but you're on methadone. You've been sober. Sorry. Go a day without no methadone, no nothing. You'll be sober that day, you know? And I'm not judging those people because they got to do what they got to do for their, their mind, you know? We're all individuals. We all have different mindsets you know some are whack mine could be whack you know i don't search for help you know i don't talk to nobody i never will you know a lot of people try to get me to talk i talked one time and that lady fucking put all kinds of shit on my files and i've got fucking following me around now you know and it's bullshit Straight up bullshit, cause uh, she said she wasn't gonna say nothing, and you know, tell me what you're thinking, you know, and yeah, I got demons that speak to me, you know, demons in my head, literally that speak to me. I should have never told nobody that, but it is what it is, you know, and I think a lot of you do. A lot of you are fighting them. All I can say is keep fighting. Keep winning. I'm I'm winning. Like I said, I went 15, 20 years on opiates. I haven't had an opiate in eight months. So to me, that's fucking winning, you know? If I can stay away from opiates, I'm cool. If I fuck around every now and again, eh, whatever, man. Don't fucking judge me. You know? What do you do in the morning? Your fucking two cups of coffee. You know? Aspirin. Your fucking Motrin. I don't do any of that shit. It's just... It's just... You know, it is what it is. Let people be, man. Stop judging them. Stop... Uh... Just... Just mind your business, you know? That's all I can say. Mind your goddamn business, you know? But people just can't. It's like they, you know, this damn internet is giving them a fucking reason to just talk shit. You know? Because there's no repercussions for your actions. They know they ain't gonna get slapped. And they think it's fucking cool to talk shit to a dude like me. You know? Knowing goddamn well in real life, I'll fucking slap the shit out of them. Fucking lames, man. This world is full of lames. Nothing we can do now. But I'm good, my gente, okay? I'm good. I'm 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 at peace with all of this now. So I know a lot of you were worried, a lot of you were thinking I was going to go crazy, but I fixed my mind quick. My mind can fix quick nowadays. Thanks to every one of you for your comments, for your support. I appreciate it all. I really do. Los vemos.